Jesus knew that he had been touched, but he didn't know by whom. Why did it matter? Couldn't Jesus have let this woman go her way? The truth is, it wasn't that Jesus didn't know who touched her. He wanted her to step forward and identify herself. Jesus wanted to teach her that his cloak did not contain some magical properties, but that her faith in him had healed her. It was not simply the woman's touching of Jesus' garment that healed her, for others pressed against Jesus as well. It was the faith that caused her to touch Jesus that brought healing. Yet something more important happened than the uh, sensation of her bleeding stopping. The experience, physical healing, uh, she experienced was great, but there was even more, even greater than she bargained for. See, if Jesus' concern for her did not uh, only involve physical healing only, that would have really shortchanged this miraculous account. Luke reported that Jesus sought out this woman because something greater than physical healing was taking place. Through faith, the woman also received spiritual healing. He may also have wanted to teach the crowds a lesson. You know, Jesus was always teaching because he's a master teacher. According to Jewish law, a man who touched a ministrating woman became ceremonially unclean, according to Leviticus 15, 19 through 28. And this was true whether her bleeding was normal or, as in this woman's case, the result of illness. To protect themselves from such defilement, Jewish men carefully avoided touching, speaking, or even looking at such women. By contrast, Jesus proclaimed to hundreds of people that this, quote, unclean woman had touched him, and then he healed her. In Jesus' mind, this suffering woman was not to be overlooked. As God's creation, she deserved attention and respect. In addition, Jesus knew that for this woman to be able to return to normal social relations and worship, her cure would need to be known publicly. She came for healing and received it, but she also received a relationship and peace with God himself because of her faith. 